Do you know what today is, Marvin? Uh, it's Tuesday. It's Vlog Tuesday. Vlog Tuesday. Oh, <laughs> all right. Well, that's new. It is. Uh, I wanted to do a vlog. Some I was in a bad mood, but now I'm in a good mood because money came in. Yeah, it sure did. And Marvin's working hard to make the money come in, and he did some invoicing with Corey. Mm -hmm. So that made me happy. Yeah. Yeah, that's... <laughs> There's all this stuff that got billed, yeah, and then someone wired us money. Yeah. Actually, and people are going to wire us some more money here as soon as I send them the info. So. I'm getting wired more money. Yeah, it's always good. Mo money, mo money. Yep, mo and I money. love Marvin's uh, screen. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> that's that pretty much sums it up. Pretty much everyone. That's his inspirational post. Is yep. This is bullshit. Yeah. That's, this is <laughs> that's bullshit. What I draw my inspiration from every day. <laughs> every morning, so he gets his thing. <laughs> I sit down. I fire everything up. I go. This is bullshit. This All is right, bullshit. Let's do this. This is bullshit. So I'm going to wander around the office because we're actually doing stuff today. We're working. And I am the grease that keeps the company going. <laughs> we're doing stuff today. Yeah. Well, I'm going to share with you what Kyle's doing today. Hot dog. Yes. Because you're also going to have one that says not hot dog, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. <laughs> <laughs> Work is actually happening. Hot yes. dog? Not hot dog. Not Here, we've got to bring dog. it up. I'm making Steve a filter so he can start taking pictures of all of his food. Yeah, we're we're doing food pictures because that's we decided that's among the memes that are now going on inside of the uh, our Slack channel. <laughs> so, uh, lots of computers being fixed. They're actually in process of repair, reloading operating systems. Uh, there's some firewalls. Two of them sitting over here that I'm supposed to be programming. And as soon as I'm done with my video thing, I'm going to go back to programming firewalls. I'll believe it when I see it. The Zen server is working. Non profit doesn't mean that it is money. going right here and uh, getting ready to, to do some more testing so we can get that deployed and I can do a whole video about Citrix Zen server. It was in the other room, but it was too noisy, so now it's in this room with the sound deadening. And Steve is in here eating hot dogs. No, I'm not. Not we hot were. dog. Not hot dog. Peanut. Peanut. Not hot dog. We always keep bags of peanuts here because that's important. So what do you think about working here, Steve? What's your thoughts on that? It's all right. It's all right? <laughs> <laughs> so you're thinking about doing a video on what it's like to work here. What do you think, Corey? You don't want to work here because I love it. I'll make you quit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this has been a discussion of trying to figure out how we want to film the video because I thought maybe we talked about this on Vlog Thursday, and this is unofficially Vlog Thursday only because we had a holiday, so now I'm all anxious and want to make some videos. Tuesday. I know. As I said, it's Vlog Tuesday because Monday was a holiday. It's not Vlog Thursday. Vlog Thursday is in two days. This is Vlog Tuesday. This is so, a prelude. It's a prelude what does to the, the vlog. What have to do with? I was anxious because I didn't make videos over the holiday. Well, why not? I don't know. I went motorcycle riding. <laughs> then it rained on me. There was something I wanted to blow up that I thought would be really cool, but I've already since forgot what it is. If someone would like us to blow things The up, toilet! Do, should we blow up a toilet? Because we got a new toilet. That is one thing that did happen over the holiday is a new toilet went in. And because uh, the old one was old, so we got a new toilet here. Those are, these are important things that yeah, go I'm on here. I put it in <laughs> I make a recommendation if you're going to blow that toilet up, don't do it anywhere where anybody will ever walk barefooted. Yeah, there, if you blow a toilet up, there's ceramic pieces everywhere. Everywhere. They'll everywhere. Cut you to bits. Anyways, back to actual technical things that we're dealing with is uh, dealing with some software vendors that didn't do the best job of setting up a server. So we've got that to contend with. Uh, did you get the other thing set up for them? The remote uh, so they can access the server? I fixed all the things. It was a combination of idiots selling the software and then you a little bit. And then I, Microsoft there too. I'm only did partially you know Microsoft idiot. Microsoft in server 2016 took out the uh, turn off password protected sharing so I had to make a user. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can't just say, because they get stuck at before even accessing the server. So, we have a client on a domain. Uh, well, but, they're not on a domain. Well, I'm sorry, the not on a domain. But the computer, the server's a domain. But the server's a domain because it had to be. So, non-domain <sighs> computers can't access the domain it's, server. It's because they have so many remote people. It's kind of a mess. Uh, so, we had to deal with that configuration. So, that was an interesting thing that we had to do. Apparently, you can't just. they had Bitdefender, which broke everything. Who built Bitdefender? Oh, they did. We told him not the guy to. Who set him up? 
It shouldn't have been Bitdefender on there. Right, we'll These are the fun day to day business things that we have to deal with here. And this is also why we try to keep a lighthearted atmosphere. So the software vendor for our client logged in. First, he opened up the entire C drive, and I'm like, what inspired you to do that? And he didn't really have an answer. You gotta edit System 32. <laughs> yeah, why not? Just share the entire C drive of a server with all the users on the network. Um, you have to work at that in our versions. Yeah, so it he took some time to do that. I mean, we had to give him a password. We created a second user for him, and we looked at what he did, and we're like, what, why? But so now that we've re-secured the client network and got the server re-secured, now we're back to getting all the software set up, which didn't have instructions, which we kept emailing for clients, uh, emailing for on behalf of our client, trying to find the setup instructions, and not getting it. So that made it more fun. And uh, so these are all the things that kind of aggravate me because this is all the first few hours of the day is knocking out all of this stupid stuff. Well, it was a holiday weekend. I mean, we did have that backlog of Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Some of these places do show up and do work. Yeah, they showed up and worked, and uh, they saved all the problems for Tuesday. So normally Monday's a busy day, but now Tuesday's a busy day. Mm -hmm. So kind of the day-to-day -day here is uh, starts with a lot of client support questions and things like that just popping at us. And... Uh, it got me not it, it, i'm always aggravated when things are outside of my control that i didn't do like the vendor going so but you know you have to do them but then i have to do them like now and it's very unplanned and it's all comes down to uh them choosing a vendor who's not the most organized and that vendor then starts with oh i'm going to omit sending you the documentation like they said i attached it and i didn't and then they finally this was last week then this week they're like oh, i attached it and the client's like well can you do it now we set our training up for wednesday and i'm like yeah i emailed them a week ago go asking for this stuff so these are like some of those aggravations that you have to deal with running an IT business they're of, not the first people to have that no no this is common had, uh, well they didn't tell me all the new terminals had to have cat 5 drops <laughs> whoops yeah so we have we went to and give our a trainings in like two days uh, yeah, we have that. Then we have another vendor who we designed a scope of work and they keep adding things. Uh, they said they wanted five cameras. That was in the bid. That was approved. We have an email saying that. Corey gets there. He says, where's the sixth camera? And we're like, you only asked for five. And Corey proved it to him. And I go, well, I wanted six. And I'm like, great. We'll install six now. And uh, these are all those little things that it's the hard to predict part of doing IT of all the random things that occur. Uh, so because those are aggravating things and are all outside of our control, uh, we end up finding other ways to do stress relief, which is kind of why we're here relaxing a little bit, but having a strategy meeting at the same time discussing. It's like a wave discussing. of anger. You're, you're wave, wave of anger. One moment and then you're on the downswing. We're on the downswing. Right we're on the downswing right now because all the problems got put to bed and it's what time is it? Two? Yeah. Two o'clock. We solved all the Usually problems. Like by three or four. We're wrapped up. Hour back from Ann Arbor. Yeah. Yeah. By three or four. And he's all the way back up. from Ann Arbor. <laughs> and by Friday, we're sitting here like, why are we even open? Yeah, because we get it all relaxed and everything else. So hopefully he gets back. That's why Kyle's drawing hot dogs and making a template for the hot dog memes that we plan to post. I'm going to head back to Marvin real quick. Because Marvin's actually working right now while I'm being random and stuff. Happens all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Just, you know. And we were talking about how I'd mentioned, Marvin, how we're going to do the video of what it's like to work here. So oh, we got to. Yeah. You want to yeah. share your thoughts on what it's like to work here? We'll just point the camera at you. Uh, well, it's um, it's an adventure every day. You never know what's going to happen when you walk in the door, be it with clients or with the folks who work here, which makes it exciting. So I'm happy with it. <laughs> As he no, makes an awkward face. Yeah, no, it's 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 great. It's it's fantastic working here. He just say, gonna get that. He's saying that because I pay him. <laughs> well, I'm gonna leave that, you. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you with this. My favorite little thing. The oh, this. Oh, and don't worry, we put this on there too. Yeah, actually, I believe Marcus put that there. Yes, I think but, my yeah. son did that. Yeah. So we got yeah. that. Actually, this is my favorite thing right up here. Oh, this is because I my previous job was working at a, a large urban university in the area. Urban. <laughs> I'll, 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 it's 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 in downtown Detroit, uh, and so urban like environment. like like the week I started working here, I get a fortune cookie that said you could prosper in the field of education, and I was like, damn it, I just left the field of education. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it did occur the first week he was here. Yeah. So now I'll wrap this up, getting back to work, which the first thing I need to do is give Steve my credit card. Yeah. Oh, I was like, did you just hold it up with the numbers and everything? No. No, we're not doing that. Well, I can blur it out. This isn't live. So, 
And then the second part of the... I don't know how the internet works. Everything's live. Everything's live to him. I'm like 80. And the other thing we got to get done is I have a set of plans here. Who's that for? Corey. I'm just holding it mm -hmm. to look important. Corey is going to look at these plans. This is what I do. As the owner, I find the things that need to be done, and I'm like, hey, these are our big layouts and drawings. And I'll give them to this guy. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, he will go through and uh, do measurements, and that's going to be a bid for 30 more cameras going in a giant warehouse. So um, that's. After our previous project, I don't really trust the measurements on paper. Um, I'm going to do the he's, walk out. Yeah, he's well, going to get a wheel and measure it. Maybe we'll do a video about how we measure things, but it's really not that complicated. We start with some plans and drawings, if we have them, if they're available, if they're accurate, and then we move on to using a wheel to go around. And uh, that kind of snare. Yeah, Corey has a nice wheel now, because yeah. what do we learn about wheels, Corey? Well, the thing about wheels is they're good on cars, but they're not good outside of cars. So Corey had an idea, and he thought, you know, it's Measuring really a long, building. This, is, this building's really big, and I want to measure it, and it, instead of walking the building, Corey hung the wheel out of his car mm -hmm. and drove along the side of the building to get the distance and then broke the gears. We well, found out later he broke the gears. And here we go with our measurement. Okay, it's wrong. Here we go. Let me know if I'm going too fast. It's a wheel, dude. Well, hey, yeah. check it out. But once he broke the gears, that's when we discovered because... We consistently measure about 40% short. Yeah, it consistently, consistently measure 40% short. About 40%. It was not 40%. Either way, it measured short. 30 they're, out of 50 is 60%. They're going to argue about how, how much short it was, but whatever you do, don't hang a wheel out of a car and drive around in a building because it wasn't designed for that, the measuring wheels, because... Yeah, it's just, it's a bad idea. <laughs> so as entertaining as it was to watch, then later realizing uh, that it was broken and you measure a job wrong and all of a sudden you're overrunning your cable costs. Those are life lessons learned, so. <laughs> Bottom of good one. We have a good wheel now when we don't hang it out of a car. <laughs> so that's about it. That's our little quick vlog Tuesday, wandering around the office, talking about what we got going on. And uh, we'll see you on vlog Thursday if I don't post a video between now and then. Thanks. Oh, if you like the content here, like and subscribe.